Are you printing on items like these and having trouble getting ink to stick to the part? The reason is low surface tension. Many thermoplastics like these have surface tension lower than the surface tension of ink, which is 40 millijoules per square meter, which is also the same as 40 dynes per centimeter. These plastics all have dyne levels below 40, but need to be raised above 40 for ink to stick. The challenge with any type of printing is to find ink that sticks to the surface. This means the tension level of the surface needs to be higher than the ink tension level. Think of a wax car surface where the water beads up on top. The water beads up because the surface tension is lower on the wax surface than the water itself. This is called non-wetting, so if we raise the surface tension, water would stick to the car. Let's look at this bag, which we are testing to see if it is polypropylene. To raise the surface tension of the part, one of three things can be done. We can corona treat the part, flame treat the part, or simply use our AMPP wipe on primer. Simply wipe on the primer. After we mix the ink, we used a razor blade and pad to manually mark the images under the part to test for adhesion. Remember, we are only wanting to see which ink sticks for the purpose of this test. Our test worked great. The AMP and AMPP inks are flexible, but notice the AMPP ink only works on the treated surface. The AMPP untreated area still flakes off. One of the biggest advantages of the AMPP ink line is that the shelf life is up to two years when stored properly. Hopefully this answers your questions on how to raise surface tension level of different plastics and how to make ink better adhere. Would you like to see your question answered on a video? Leave us a comment below and don't forget to subscribe.